Hi, I'm Victoria from the Chatelaine Test Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy apple pie and we're going to start first with the pastry. To start off your pastry, put your flour in a large bowl and add your sugar and your salt. Whisk or using a fork, mix them together because you want to make sure that it's nice and evenly mixed. Next you add your cold butter and your shortening. Make sure that they're cut into nice little cubes and kind of crumble them in. So you can use your fingers or pastry blender just to push the butter and the shortening into the flour using your thumbs. Work as quickly as possible. Cut the butter and the shortening in until you get nice, almost pea-sized crumbs. It's okay if they're kind of uneven. You want some chunks in there too. And then add your ice-cold water. Start with the core cup. Mix just until it starts to form a ball. If it doesn't start to come together and form a ball, then add a tablespoon at a time of more ice-cold water until it starts to come together. And then divide your dough in half. Shape each of those into a ball. Pull out some plastic wrap, shape your dough into a disc, it'll be easier to roll out. Put it in your refrigerator for at least an hour until it's nice and chilled so you can roll it out or refrigerate overnight. Once your dough is chilled, you want to lightly flour your counter and rolling pin and roll it out. Roll it into a circle about 12 inches wide and try to keep your edges even as best you can. Roll from the center of the dough but not over the edge or you'll flatten the sides of the edge of the pastry. If you don't have a 10 inch pie plate, don't worry, just use a 9 inch. You may not need to use all of the filling though. When you're ready to put your dough in your pie plate, then loosely roll up your dough around your rolling pin and place over top of your pie plate, unrolling as you go. Pat your dough over the sides and the bottom of your pie plate, leaving about a half an inch overhang. Don't worry about pricking and then just refrigerate your bottom half while you prepare the filling. Place your rack in the lowest position in the oven and then preheat to 425. For your filling, peel and core your apples, then thinly slice. Measure out eight and a half cups of your thinly sliced apples, then place in a large bowl. Sprinkle with a tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice, then sprinkle with sugar, flour, and cinnamon and nutmeg. Toss them until they're evenly coated. After your filling is prepared, pull your pie plate from the fridge and mound your filling in the pie shell. And then for an extra decadent pie, scatter with a little bit of cold diced butter over top. You can skip the butter if you like also. Set your pie shell and your filling aside and roll out your remaining disc of dough. You want to roll your dough out so it's about 13 inches. Roll your dough around your rolling pin again, then roll over top of your filling. Trim your edges just leaving about a one inch overhang. Fold your top edge under your bottom edge, lightly pressing. To crimp the edges, use your index finger and your thumb, pressing with your other index finger in between. Continue around the edge until you have a nice crimped edge. Then cut a hole in the top of your pie or make a couple of little slits on the top just for the steam to escape. Lightly brush the top of your pie with your beaten egg white. Sprinkle with a little sugar, then bake in the bottom rack for about 10 minutes then turn your oven from 425 down to 350. You want to continue baking your pie until it's nice and golden and the apples are tender. It should take about an hour. After your pie is baked and nice and golden, you want to let it sit for about an hour and a half. Now that your pie is cooled, it's ready to serve. For more baking recipes, go to chatelaine.com slash recipe file.